Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and TV from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and welcome back to Raid. Welcome to Empire, the Raid remake, the highly anticipated remake of Raid that's now available to us here in Black Ops 3 as of the Descent DLC, which at the time of this video being recorded is only available on the PlayStation 4. It's going to be coming out for the Xbox One and the PC about one month's time. So boo on that, boo to console exclusivity. I had to of course boo at my PlayStation 4 here to even play the DLC. And can I just say here at the very beginning of the video, what is with the PlayStation 4 and it's incredibly slow download times. Is this just a me problem? Because I see other people talking about it online, like there's a bunch of videos and there's a bunch of forum posts and stuff about it, but mine is incredibly slow. Like, it takes me 13 hours to download a DLC. I kid you guys not, it took me 13 hours to download the Descent DLC, and my internet connection is incredibly above average, and of that great download speed that I have, I'm getting 80 download on my PS4, and this is connected with an Ethernet cable, and it's in rest mode, and I've also tried some other things, like I think there's a video on Wicked Shrapnel's channel about changing, like, the the thing to Google's thing. I forget exactly what it was, but I've done all these things, and it just, it downloads ridiculously slow for whatever reason, but I finally got a download. I did my map walkthroughs, and I've been playing the multiplayer. I played zombies. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I wanted to make this video just talking about Empire, because Empire is absolutely fantastic. I am so happy that they did not mess with the map whatsoever, because if you guys don't know, Empire is basically just a one-for-one -one remake of Raid. There's really no differences. I'm sure there's one or two, but there's really no major differences to the map whatsoever, which is the best thing about it. There's no big differences. It's the map that we already know and love and if I could ever just you know talk to a game developer and be like hey this is what we need to do with map remakes right if you guys want to remake content great I'm actually a big fan of that I've talked about that before I like when they remake content some people don't because they think it's lazy of them but to me it's like why don't you want a map remake as part of DLC you get three brand new maps plus a remake of a map that you already will probably love because they only remake fan favorites for the most part they use the term fan favorite loosely at times remember back in Black Ops 2 they uh, remade Courtyard from World at War as a DLC map I think it was called Dig, right? And they're like, oh, we remade the fan favorite map, Courtyard, from World at War. And I'm like, did you play World at War? Since when's Courtyard a fan favorite? There's way better maps on World at War. And that's not even just my opinion. Like, a community consensus would come together and say, yeah, Courtyard was okay, but it wasn't a fan favorite by any stretch of the imagination, right? It was just, it was not one of those popular maps. So, at times, they can use it loosely, but for the most part, if you get a remake map as part of DLC, you're going to enjoy that map, right? You're just going to enjoy it. So, I don't understand why people would uh, be against that idea as compared to new content because you already get, you know, three new maps anyway, so what's really the harm? But if I could talk to any game developer, right, in regards to remaking content, I would say just remake the map the way that it was. If we're, if you're making a map remake, chances are we already love that map, and the reason why we love that map is because the map is the way that it is. No need to change it whatsoever, right? Like, what they did with Shipment, oh my gosh, guys, you guys, you guys have heard this before, but what they did to Shipment and Call of Duty Ghost was an absolute travesty. They advertised it, if you guys don't remember the map, the DLC map was actually called Showtime, and it was in Call of Duty Ghost. It was a remake of Shipment. It was advertised as the highly anticipated remake of the fan favorite Shipment from Call of Duty 4. And it wasn't Shipment. Like, it was in the middle, but then they added the entire outside section to it. And they also made a death arena where smoke would come in and kill people. Or the walls would randomly come down and sentry guns would appear. Or uh, care packages would randomly appear on the map and stuff like that. It just, it was not Shipment. It was some sort of abomination, in my opinion. And actually, if you guys caught my top 10 worst maps in Call of Duty history video, it ranked number 2 as the second worst map in Call of Duty history, at least according to me because it was so bad and the reason why was because it was advertised as a shipment remake like if it was its own map right if it was just its own standalone map it was a death arena that's what it was it wasn't supposed to be a remake of shipment or anything like that then sure it would have been a map it wouldn't have been my favorite personally but it would have been a decent map I suppose but the fact that it was supposed to be shipment and they changed so much about it that's what ruined it for me so when they remade raid here and they made empire it's exactly the same and that's why I love it it just it's a it's the same map but it looks much better right and actually going back to raid and actually looking at it after playing Empire, it's like, wow, this map is not nearly as colorful as it was in my memory. This map did not look nearly as good as it does in my memory, right? Because this map is absolutely gorgeous looking here in Black Ops 3. It just If you compare the looks of Empire to the looks of Raid, just day and night so much better. And that's all we want. Just make the map look different. Of course, it's a completely different theme. I think Raid was like... What was it, like some sort of a mansion or something like that, like out in the middle of nowhere? Like, that's really all it was. And then this, uh, obviously, is kind of like the same idea, but it's owned by, like, some, like, crazy billionaire. And, of course, it's got all this Roman architecture and Roman...
common themes and stuff like that to it. Lots of marble, lots of reds, lots of whites, and of course, you got the beautiful countryside in the background. It's the same map, but just with a different theme, and that's all I wanted. It's so fun to play on. In terms of gameplay, it's great. I absolutely love playing on it because it's the same map. It, they didn't go out of their way to try to change anything about it, because you guys know they try to make their maps kind of work with the, with, the, with the movement system in Black Ops 3. That's just, that's what they do. If a game has a unique movement system of some description, like we saw in Advanced Warfare, or like we see here in Black Ops 3, then typically they build their maps from the ground up to work with that movement system. That's just how things go. And you see that, you see many examples of that actually throughout all the multiplayer maps in Black Ops 3, even counting some of the DLC. But when they remade this map, they said, you know what, we're not going to change anything about it. It's going to be the same map. So for all intents and purposes, we're playing a Black Ops 2 map, but here in Black Ops 3, and it feels absolutely fantastic. It does feel a little bit odd not to be able to wall run in many spots. There are, of course, some spots, but for the most part, there really isn't. So the only real difference is is this is basically the same as Raid, but a lot more people are jumping, and you, of course, can just jump into windows as compared to, you know, having to uh, climb up there or do anything tricky like that or have to climb stairs and stuff like that. So, overall, I've been really enjoying Empire. It's a very fun map to play on. It's a very faithful remake, and I don't use that term loosely. It's a very faithful remake. It's the same map as Raid, which is exactly what I think most people wanted. And as a whole, I think the Descent DLC is pretty good. Zombies is okay. I'm having fun with zombies. But I'm a super ca casual zombies fan. You guys know that. Like, for me, I just like to find my perks, find Pack-a-Punch, and start killing zombies. I love the theme of it. Stalingrad, you got all these uh, dragons and stuff like that flying, but there's so many different things you have to learn about the map. And that's one of the things that's always been true of Treyarch zombie maps, is you kind of have to watch a video. Like, you have to have two monitors open, and on your second monitor, you have to, like, watch a guide as to how to do all the things. Like, I know how to find find the power that's simple there's arrows pointing to it i know where most of the perks are and i could typically find the box and that's about all i've done so far i've got like the round 16 or something like that so though it's not amazing i'm not a great zombies player but i have been enjoying it it just it's confusing at times because that's what Treyarch maps are nowadays uh to kind of keep people interested they have to continue to make it more difficult and add more and more things but for me personally it's like so many puzzles like it's so hard to kind of figure out these things at times without help but as a whole, I think Gorod Kroby, or Gora Kroby, I think you just say Gora, uh, whatever. It's uh, it's a fun map. I've been enjoying it for the most part so far. But the multiplayer maps, I think, is really where this DLC is shining. And that's typically not true. Typically, zombies trumps everything. And this is a good zombies map, sure. But the multiplayer maps in this DLC, the Descent DLC, are actually really good. Like, I've really enjoyed them so far. Berserk is amazing. I really like Berserk. Not only the theme, but the way it plays as well. Like, I'm the kind of guy that likes to flank around a lot of the time. And that map is fantastic for that. While at the same time... Combining lots of wall running over like death pits and stuff like that. It's really cool. I really like that map as a whole. Cryogen, I actually haven't played yet. Believe it or not, I haven't played Cryogen. I played like every map like five times. Haven't gotten Cryogen once. I uh, played Rumble. It's very fast paced. It's okay. Rumble is probably my least favorite so far. Like it's just, it's a fast paced map, but what else do you want, you know? But for the most part, Empire, fantastic. Berserk, fantastic. Haven't played Cryogen in the actual multiplayer, which is odd. Nobody votes for it. I wonder if it's not a good map or what. Like nobody votes for it. And Rumble's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just it's a map and it's fast paced and it's small and it's very you know hectic at times so that is basically my mini review i suppose of the black ops 3 descent dlc just as a whole really enjoying it very fun maps can't wait for it to come out on the xbox but for the time being i'm enjoying it here on playstation and i uh, hope you guys are as well those guys actually have access to it so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video i hope you guys all found it helpful and informative let me know down there in the comment section below what do you guys think about the descent dlc and here's a big question this is gonna be very interesting i want you guys to please answer this for me in the comments what map do you think they're going to remake for the fourth and final DLC? This, of course, was the third DLC pack, which means they're going to be coming out with one more, and most likely they're going to be having a map remake in that DLC. What Treyarch map do you think they're going to bring back that they maybe haven't brought back already? Let me know about that down there in the comments. I'll love to hear what you guys think. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.